speaking. <laughs> Suddenly, a tiger walks into a room. What would you do? You will run. So, dear brothers and sisters, we welcome you from Bible Mission Headquarters, Gundur, to this seminar in Singapore. Today's my topic is if a Satan comes into our presence, if the Satan is coming to your house, into your family, what would you do? How to rebuke the Satan? How to behead the Satan? Today I give you a weapon in your hands so that use it for your purpose. If at all Satan attacks you, take this weapon. All the teachings of Father M. Devda Saigaru are being told to you now itself in this seminar. Today I present you maxims to rebuke the Satan. First of all, we will read from the word of God and then with a short prayer we will start our class. Revelation chapter 12, Revelation chapter 12, 10 and 11 verses. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now God's salvation has come. How God has shown his power as king, now his Messiah has shown his authority for the one who, should, who stood before our God and accuser, accused our brothers day and night has been thrown down, thrown out of heaven. Our brothers won the victory over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the truth which they proclaim. Amen. Short prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we bless and glorify your name. Because you are in our presence. It is your word which gives us strength and victory of the devil. You are the light. Let your light be in all, every one of us. Now I'm, we are speaking the words which were written by our Aigar. Let this word be remain in each and every heart. Be used for yourself to be spread out of this light to whole of the country. As the prophecy goes that India will become the center to spread the word of God. Let this prophecy be fulfilled. It is a starting, starting step for us. Speak us. Fill me with your spirit. We ask you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear brothers, this is the small AV which we have prepared for, for showing you about our church and everything. We will go on to the topic. Our topic for today's class is that man seems to rebuke the Satan. How to rebuke the Satan? I ask you with a question that if at all a tiger or a lion comes into our room, what we have to do? Shall we shout? Shall we run? Or shall we cry? If a, if a lion or suppose in other way, if a dog which is filled with dirt comes into your house, what will you do? We just shout at the dog are we, are we through whatever it is in there in our hands at it? If a dog which is very dirty comes into the clean room, we feel more and more aggressive at, at the dog. When we look at the dog and be in a such an angry mood, if at all a Satan comes into your family, Satan's work comes to, into your children. If Satan comes into your church, if Satan comes into your city, if your Satan is coming into your country, what are you doing? Who is there to rebuke it? Who is there to stand before it? Now I give you the weapon. I give you something from the teachings of Father and Devada Saigaru. Aigaru means father. So these are the words written by our father. Let these words be in you. Utilize it. Test it for yourself. Is it true or not? Test it after the words which you have heard in this seminar and see if it will happen or not. Because this is a topic given to me. I have been preparing for this, this message and everything. But for the 2-3 days, I am thinking of myself to prepare for it, but I am not able to prepare for it. So I am thinking what is happening? I want to prepare for it, but there is something, some objection is coming, some kind of obstacles are coming for me. Then I thought of, it is the work of Satan. Because I am speaking about the Satan, Satan doesn't want me to speak in this. Suddenly when I was walking, 
I fell down. I got hurt. Then I thought, oh ho, this is the work of Satan. So I should prepare well and to deliver this message, I prepare and I brought forth for you today. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Now I have prepared a plan how to resist the Satan. There are seven points which I am tell telling to you today. First one is Satan's light. Lucifer is the light bearer. Outwards it will be showing the light, showing the light. But inwardly it is filled with the darkness. Satan's light. Secondly, Satan's bite. And thirdly, Satan's might. What is the strength of the Satan? And what is its abilities and activities? And fourthly, the Satan's flight. We must make the Satan flee. And fifthly, our right. Sixthly, our fight. And seventhly, is our celebrate. This is the sevenfold strategy we should use to rebuke the Satan. Today we are all gathered here. Get the power of the Lord. There is power in the prayer. There is power in the word of God. There is power in the presence of the God. There is power in the Holy Spirit. Amen. So with this power, with this power from the word of God, we can rebuke the Satan using this strategy which I am putting before you. First one is that the light of the Satan. What is the Satan? How it is shedding the light and everything? The light of the Satan is very much impressive and attractive. So be careful about it. The Satan is mentioned by the word of God. Satan is mentioned in the seven Old Testament books and in the New Testament in 19 books are mentioning about the Satan. Even Jesus Christ has mentioned about the Satan. What is this Satan means? What is the work of Satan? It is the fallen angel. This angel is called the Lucifer or the light bearer. This angel rebelled against the Almighty God. It was cast down from the heaven. It was thrown down. It vowed that I will destroy the creation of the God. It is a hindrance to all the works of the God. It will tempt us daily. It has an army of darkness. Be prepared. It has an army. So why should we sit back? If it is coming with the army, we should be equipped to resist the Satan. It is a, it is a thinker of our destruction. It is, doesn't know that it will go into the hell. But even though it ignores, it is coming to us to make us fall into the sin. It is the evil spirit. Today I tell you one point. Till now we have been listening that the Lord can see our heart. Lord can know what is inside our heart. But this devil, the Satan, being the evil spirit, can look into your heart. Is you are strong? Are you strong in the, in the word of God? Are you strong in faith or not? This is what he can peep and see what is into your heart. Today I tell you one more point is that this devil is a robber. You can see that in that slide, one face it is smiling, another face it has a snake's mouth. This is the character of the Satan. So this Satan comes down, make us as a robber. He comes down and robs our body. Robbing the body. What is that? How can he rob the body? When the disease is affected to us, by the disease it is robbing the health of ours. It robs the consciousness of ours. We don't know what we are doing. It robs the wisdom of ours. We do something, we think of something and do what at all we know. We are not to do. It robs the knowledge. It even robs your money. The salary which is taken in the first of the month gets away without anything, without we are using it anything. What happened to the salary? The money is getting vanished. It is the work of the Saturn. The Saturn robs the notes. The notes you are writing, the notes you are taking, be careful about the notes. It can rob the notes which you are having. It can rob your property. It can rob yourself. It can take you into the world, into the sin. This is what the Saturn is doing. Saturn has many names. I will mention only a few. Saturn, word of Saturn is written 55 times in the Bible. The word devil is used 35 times in the Bible. 
it is called the ruler of the darkness the dragon the deceiver the wicked one a light angel a murderer and this dragon is the defeated one causes pain always works from behind it brings trouble to the believer denies the existence of the god spoilers of the health of the believer far from the god destroyer of the men keeps evil spirits to work it is the spoiler son of the darkness scatters the flock of the god flees away in fear it is the destroyer we can say so many names in the way today the second point is that we have to behead the satan say hallelujah maranatha a short prayer just repeat after me i will tell you to use it for your for your spiritual sake the repeat after me by the most powerful word let's say for us by the most by the most powerful word of the word of god by the most powerful word of the word of god o satan we are beheading you say we are o satan we are beheading by the most powerful let's say by the most powerful word of word of god o satan we are beheading you so this is the second thing which i am going to put over you satan's bite the snake comes to bite us the bite of the snake is venomous it goes into our blood and causes death so this snake has to be stamped and this satan's head has to be beheaded by the most powerful word that is the word of god o satan we are beheading you how can we behead the satan the satan has a head if it has a head we can behead the satan yes it has a head which is invisible the head of the satan consists of 23 evil qualities today i am mentioning only a few these are the things which are written in your handbook which you have it has the 23 evil qualities in it that 23 evil qualities of the satan has to be known to us by this evil qualities it consists of the head of the satan and this side of the satan has to be beheaded by us take this weapon in your hands properly what is this head consisting of this head consists of it thinks as if itself that it is equivalent to the god thinking equivalent to god thinking equivalent to something else thinking bigger than what we are it is work of the head of the satan this satan has evil qualities this there will be 23 evil qualities consists of its head and so the second thing evil quality which form the head is that it disobeyed the command of the god and now this cunning satan what is does is that he makes us to be disobedient to the god by making us disobedient to the god it is bringing the wrath of god upon us so this this satan is 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 preparing us in a such way that it is in a cunning nature that it is preparing us to get the wrath of god by it, by tempting us to be disobedient to the god so be careful about this cunningness this is all comes from the head of the satan it tempts us to fall into the sin if a person be in the presence of the god worship the lord and be in the happiness of the god being grateful to the qualities and the basis god has done us it enters his hearts and makes the son his son or beloved son to get rid of to be good to get die to get him out of the out of the world and makes him sad after he go, goes into the distress he will not be able to praise the lord with his whole heart in this way satan's head is forming into our head and preparing us to be away from the lord it brings a thought that there is no god there are no angels they are not no devils and everything everything which is opposite to the heavenly words is from the head of the satan it makes them thinks the people that why should we go to the church and worship we can worship at the home it it brings all the abuse language to the people it brings kind of knowledge that satan makes the people to disrespect not respecting the parents and elders these all come from the head of the satan exposing the mistakes of the others all the sins of the bible 
present sins and the future sins and the past sins all come from the head of the satan blocking the spread of the kingdom of the god creating disbelief in the church it is like telling the people that there is neither hell nor hades or heaven different categories of the sin and every evil thought comes into the by the by by the head of the satan only so be careful the lust of the flesh the lust of the eye the lust of the hand all the immoral activities all form into the head of the satan today the world is in somewhat misery why these things happen when we see into the newspapers or into the channel tv channels all the calamities and all the distress and all the miseries and the famines and all the suicides everything terrorist activities everything is behind the hand of the satan only outwardly the men may be shown outwardly people may be appearing for us but inwardly it is the work of the satan satan's might what is the strength of the satan what is the strength it brings us in us anger it brings us in us laziness it brings us in us dullness it brings us in us disbelief disbelief grief sorrow differences differences of everything differences envy agitation fruitlessness despair lack of trust in god negligence quarrels misunderstanding and all the, this kind of qualities are the satan strength when they come to into us we think that it is somebody's fault but actually this satan is behind everything praise the lord maranatha 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 weakness of satan the weakness of satan is that it can't come to us without the permission of the god hallelujah it can't come to us without the permission of the god if at all you have anything in your mind that this is the work of the satan if you if your mind tells you that this work something is is there in the hand of the satan is there if you if you can conspire it if we can know it that is if this is the work of the satan suddenly you have to rebuke the satan satan you have come with the permission of my god so why have you come here to my church turn to my family to my mind get out that is what we have to do to the satan activities of the satan what does this satan's activities is it it imitates the god it sows the wheat weeds into the field of the god it prevents the word of god it blinds the men from the truth it steals the word of god from the human hearts it tempts us it afflicts us some of the works of the satan or the activities of satan suppose you are sitting here if a ant come and bites you on your on your leg what happens it is the work of the satan and another thing a thorn pierces into your leg if a thorn has come and pierces into you suddenly it is also the work of the satan worshiping the stone images hitting the stone against the leg against the stone sinning against the god see the hens and the dogs unnecessarily make noises when you are praying some kind of disturbance some kind of noise come some kind of relatives come to disturb your prayer this is all the work of god even missing the train mishap in falling into the water these are the mischiefs of the devil we all think that these are the mishaps which are for our faults only falling into the water this all happens because of our our mistakes only but but when we look into it it can be we can in a microscopic way we find that it is the work of the sand so we have to resist it i come to the fourth point is that how can we make satan flee satan's flight how can we make this satan flee i give you seven points remember it and put it in your mind so that you may use it for your sake first one to resist this satan this strategy is that by the prayers secondly by the praises and thirdly by rebukes fourthly by the scripture the word of god fifthly we can use songs and sixthly the notes you are writing and seventhly to overcome the satan there is a strategy and a plan to overcome the satan with the mighty power of the lord of god 
the Savior Jesus Christ. First point I'm going to you by the prayers. What kind of prayers can we pray? Just I give you some of the ideas to pray so that we may resist the Satan. How can we resist the Satan by the prayers? What kind of prayers? The prayer is a powerful weapon for us. I say you, prayer is like this lighting. If this all hold, no, no lights are here, this room will become dark. In this dark room, if we all take sticks and beat the dark, darkness also, the darkness will not move. If we all shout also, this darkness will not move. But if we light this lamp, what happens? The darkness goes away. In the same way, the prayer is, a, is, is like the light. Personal prayer, family prayer, and church prayer. These are the three kinds of prayers. They are different prayers. By this prayer power, by this light of the power, we can resist the darkness of the Satan. How can we pray to the Lord to resist the Satan? In Luke chapter 10, 19, it is said that, Lord, you have given us strength and authority. So we ask the Lord, Lord, you have given us strength and authority upon the Satan. Give us now for your for resisting this Satan. It has come to my house. It has come to my family. It has come to my city, my country. So give us power and authority to resist this Satan. We can rebuke the Satan in another way by praying like this. Father, when you are tempted by the Satan, in Matthew chapter 4 and 10, when you have resisted Satan, it did not stay for a one minute also. It ran away. Give us power so that we may also resist the Satan in the same way. Father, we are the saved ones. Satan is the unsaved person. Saved ones have more strength and stronger than the unsaved ones. Give us power so that we may rebuke this unsaved Satan with the mighty power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, Satan is a deceiver. He thinks that he is of light. He thinks that he is very powerful. But he disguises, he is a hypocrite. Father, give us strength so that we may rebuke as you have rebuked. It ran away. So now also it has to run away. I'll give you one more prayer also. Father, give us ability to strike the Satan with the arrow. Give us ability to behead the Satan with the mighty power of your sword of God, word of God. When the Satan with its invisible head is trying to think, think of us, let the mighty arrow of you strike upon the thoughts of the Satan and kill its thoughts. If it sees with his eye, the evil eye falls on us, let the arrow of yours strike the eye of the Satan. If it speaks evil of us upon the, your presence and tell, tells about us in your presence or deceiving us and telling something else about you, ourselves, Father, strike the arrow into its mouth. If it hears the words of its fellow devils telling something else about us, strike the arrow in its invisible ears. If it spoils the health of us, strike the arrow in its invisible belly. If it tries to do harm with our legs, strike the arrow into the heads. If it does harm with its, with its hands to us, strike the arrow into the hands of the Saturn. In this way, we can pray and resist the Saturn. In the Bible, we can say, find uh, many incidences where the Saturn has been subdued and rebuked. Tobia and Salvatore have been talking very, very boasting voices and they have raised their voice against the building of the world of church of the walls of the city. Ezra and Nehemiah stood there and they have, their work has been completed with the mighty power of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we rebuke the Saturn that, Saturn, you are the wicked one. You are the wicked one. You are you, you do all the things which 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 we our Lord has resisted you. In the same way, we use the same words what our Lord has used to rebuke this Satan. I tell you one incident, what happened in our place. This, this kind of gathering was there. We have been conducting a Christmas, Christmas celebration was going on. As we are speaking to you, this congregation called on for a speaker. Who, is, uh, who has come for giving a message on this Christmas. So after this speaking of the word of God, there is a drama by the children. The children were decorated with all the costumes of the Christmas drama, Mary, Joseph, angels, 
Maggie and all the persons required and in the drama there was a character of Satan and a boy which is very tall and very fat and he was decorated as if as a Satan with the horns and everything. Even with, with, the, with the good makeup, he looks as if it is a real Satan. And these children are kept in a room besides the speaking where the congregation is having the this uh, meeting and everything. They have, they have put the children and everybody with the costumes in the room. This speaker was fairly speaking and speaking and speaking. The topic of Saturn came there. This speaker shouted loudly, we should resist the Saturn. People sitting there, children sitting there opposite to the speaker in a room with the costumes of uh, Christmas. This person, this boy who is of the Saturn character, costume of Saturn, walked out of the room. Suddenly the speaker saw the person there and this speaker thought that Saturn has come to the meeting. When he thought that Saturn has come to the meeting, he was shivering. The legs were shivering, he was sweating and he was not able to speak. That boy thought that this meeting is over, the word of God is over, so our drama is going to start, he came forward to the, into the meeting. Then one of the madams or one of the lady turned backside and saw the boy and saw that it is the Saturn who came here. Then she shouted large, large, loudly that Saturn has come to our meeting. When she shouted like that, people ran away from this meeting. And, and, and a old lady, she can't run away, she, she hid her behind the stair. So this boy came to that lady and said, Mother, Mother, Mama, Mama, Mother, why are they running? That lady was saying, Saturn, I am your servant only. Because they, they give us gifts, they give us food, they give us everything. I have come here. How can you come to me? I am your, your servant only. This is what the old lady was telling. Dear brothers and sisters, how is your faith in resisting the Saturn? God has given us power. God has given the word of God. The prayer and everything to resist the Saturn. Use this power to resist the Saturn from coming to us. Another point of this is by the praises. By praising the Lord, we can rebuke the Saturn. By praising the Lord, how can we praise the Lord? God has given us authority upon our enemies. Give us authority, gave us authority upon the enemies. Luke chapter 10 and 19 verse says, He gave us the authority. Our greatest enemy is Saturn. Our greatest enemy is Saturn. So, Father, we praise that you have given us the strength to rebuke the Saturn. Saturn we are talking to Satan. Satan, you are inferior to all men. Satan, you are inferior to women. So Satan, you are inferior to all the birds, animals, trees. As our Lord has created in Genesis, you are inferior to the insects, what our God has done. So, Lord, you have made us superior over Satan. With these words, we have to praise the word of God. We are criticizing Saturn. We are humiliating Saturn. Saturn, you are a, not a male. Sometimes we call you male. Sometimes we call you female. Shame on you, Saturn. We are humiliating you. Why have you come to us? Praising the Lord. Praising the Sun. Lord makes the Saturn flee from us. Saturn, we talk to Saturn. Saturn, you are the fallen one. You have fallen from the skies. But we have fallen from the congregation of the men. You have fallen from the top, but we have fallen from down on the ground only. Nobody is there to lift you. If we fell down, if we fall down, we have the servants of God. We have angels, we have Lord to lift us up. Satan, you have fallen from there, but you are not lifted by anybody else. So we are superior to you. We praise the Lord with these words in our mind. Satan, we talk to the Satan that Satan, you are fallen as an angel turned into Satan. You can't get your name back, that is the angel. You have turned into Satan, you can't get the name of the angel back. But we may fall into the sin, but we can get equivalent to the name of the angel. So we are superior to by these words, we may we praise the Lord and live by the name of the Lord. Satan, you have to flee away from us. Because Lord has given us authority upon you. God has given us strength to flee you. So you have to run away from us. Because you, your activities can't be 
with us because God is with us. As a snake shaman tunes the flute so that the snake might come out of the hole. Why does the snake come out? It comes out for the death. It will be killed by anybody. Small ants, they may be small ants, but these small ants can kill a mighty serpent. So Satan, we may be small ants in your sight, but the prayers which we do, make one each prayer as a spokes, as an arrows, as ants may be, we be, but we can kill you Satan. That is what we have to praise the Lord. By rebuking the Satan. How can we rebuke the Satan? This Satan, O oh Satan, you are the fallen one. Satan, we have repentance, but you don't have the repentance. We have the repentance. You are judged. If we fall into sin, we have time for the judgment. But you are already judged to go into the hell. You are already judged. When you are already judged, how can you judge us? How can you put out the sins of us? This is what we have to raise questions to the Satan and rebuke it. Another point is that Jesus Christ has washed us in, our, in his blood all the sins of us. Satan, this is the weapon, the word of God and the blood of Jesus Christ. By this blood of the Jesus Christ, we drag out and have the victory over the Satan. We have to rebuke the Satan by reading the word of God. This word of God will make the Satan flee from us. The word of God will strengthen us. The word of God will be in us. When the light of word of God is in us, Satan will not come to us. And next point is that we can resist the Satan by singing songs. Beautiful songs are sung here. When we are singing the songs, the work of the Holy Spirit comes in. And this way we can resist the Satan. The notes which we are writing, the notes which you are using, use it so that the Satan may be free from us. All these maxims, all these words are arrows for you. When these songs are sung, when these arrows are used, Satan can stay there. All the notes and everything will rebuke the Satan because our Jesus Christ has given us victory. The victory of the Jesus stands firm in us. The victory of the Jesus stands ahead of us. That's why Satan cannot come to us. This is what the greatness which we have as a believer in the Christ Jesus Christ. Jesus has given us victory because he has won over the sin. He has won victory on the cross. So many afflictions, objections and anything, all the pain and everything, Jesus has endured it. And then he has victoriously came out of the sufferings. And that is, that is the victory of the Lord which is given to us. By this victory, we can resist the Satan. Lord has defeated the death. Lord has defeated the grave. Lord has defeated the Satan and its angels. Everything has been defeated by our Lord. So we stand and we take that victory. When we speak of the victory, when we sing the song of the victory, we get the victory. I tell you one thing, a witness that these vaccines are printed in a book. In our, in our headquarters in India, Guntur. When this book of man seems to rebuke the Saturn is printed or given to the printing machine, the printing machine will be struck and it will get destroyed. So we have to pray and by the prayer that goes on the printing of the books is gone in a smooth way. So this kind of activity Saturn is doing, be careful about it. The book of the Deuteronomy, the book of the Revelation, it's though these books frighten the Satan. Lord used the words from the Deuteronomy to resist the Satan. And the revelation gives the Satan its end time. What will happen to him? Dear brothers in Christ, these are the words, these are the papers. Maybe it may be put into words as WikiLeaks papers of Satan. Maybe the Panama papers of Satan. When these papers and when these words are being uttered by us, when these words are being told by us, when these words are being spoken by us, Saturn cannot stand with us. We have the right, right to overcome the Saturn. The fifth point is that we have the right over the Saturn. Saturn and the Savior. Few words which we have to speak to the Saturn. What can we please speak to the Saturn? Saturn, it is written in the word of God that the righteous may fall for seven times. He may be able to wake up and come out, out of the sinful state. But Satan, you are fallen, but nobody was there to lift up. If a game is going on, soccer game is going on, 
somebody gets hurt and he falls down he will not feel sad that i have fallen down some nobody has come to my will come to me nobody can rescue me when a person falls in a game suddenly the game stops the followers of the colleagues come there take him on the stretcher and take him to the place safe place satan we we are falling to sin we have the the fellowship of the church we have the servants of the god we have so many angels we have the lord god jesus christ for us to lift us you have fallen but nobody was there to lift you from the from the stage where you are where you have fallen satan and the church church has been obstructed by the satan for nearly 20 centuries even the church has endured suffering and everything but the growth of church has been there as a flowing of the river so the church has been multiplied and crossed all the obstacles caused by the satan and its efforts have gone to go into vain satan and other religions other religion religions are finding faults in jesus christ other people are finding faults in the word of god bible other religions are finding fault in the church members or satan they may be faults in us but they are very very negligible before the faults you have so you are the accuser you have to go satan and hades what is this there is a place called hades where the unsaved souls go there the saved souls after the death goes to the paradise and in the hades there is a second chance given by the lord jesus christ and we will talk about it tomorrow in that in my class so this hades is a place where god is using his mighty believing word saints to go there and give one more chance to the people to preach the word of god to know the word of god and everything so hades is a headache for the satan satan has a satan's headache is hades satan and the bible and what is said that if we go to the every region of the world in all the languages of the world we find the word of god so this word of god is taken to the whole world in translated in all the languages of the world o satan you may go to any village you may go to any corner of the world there you can find the word of god so this word of god is going to rebuke you subdue you it going to beat you it is what the right we have six three our point is that our fight what is our fight satans we have victory over the satan how we have we got this victory because satan is the defeated one it has been defeated by the jesus christ so jesus christ came into our form into human form and he defeated the satan he defeated the satan so satan is the defeated one oh satan you are the defeated one why do you come to us for fighting you are the defeated one you won the pain into the world by the patience of the lord jesus christ on the cross and the love of the jesus christ you are defeated on the cross the book of deuteronomy and the revelation frightens you in this way you are defeated o oh, satan a mangus and a cobra those the both this mangus and cobra will be fighting the snake cobra will be striking the mangus but this mangus suddenly cuts off the head of this uh, of this cobra and the serpent dies in the same way satan you may be striking us but there is a chance that we are going to kill you we are going to behead you it is what we have to do, tell to the satan satan is unrepentant we have repentance but satan does not have repentance we can take this point to rebuke the satan resist the satan satan you have no repentance but we have repentance if we repent in the person in the in the presence of the god i may be somebody may be a very good very very severe in his sinful life but the repentance will give him the savior's great blessings and to the heaven satan you are you are the criminal you are the culprit how can you judge us how can you give us the permission punishment you will go to the hell it is what written in the word of god satan the accuser he accuses us in the presence of the lord jesus christ satan you have been accusing us doing the all against the works of us but there is judgment for you not for us you it may be judgment after the after the judgment after some time but now it's up you have the judgment what you have satan the fallen one dr martin luther the reformation great saint who have brought the bible out of the chains and everything in this martin luther when he was in the 
work of his he worked doing the translation of the Bible, Satan came to him and showed the, all the list of the sins he has done. And he did not get frightened. He resisted Satan. He threw the ink bottle at the Satan and said, These sins are washed by my Lord Jesus Christ. When these sins are washed away, who are you to show the sins which have been washed by my Savior to show you me and accuse me? Satan, you defeated, defeated one, flee from me. He resisted Satan, it ran away. Dear brothers and sisters, we are powerful before the Satan. We are all maybe different languages, different colors and different, different regions. But we are all with the blood of Jesus Christ. We are one. We all will be here to celebrate the victory by giving divorce of letter of divorce to the Satan. Satan, you can't stay here because we are powerful. Now we are in the work of the Bible. Our father, Devada Saigal, has said that India will become the center to spread the gospel of the world to the whole world. So we stand. It's a great privilege that we did not also think, but this is the great my great thing which Lord has put in our Vice President Aigar. And he is the man who has brought us into this stage. Maybe we don't know in the coming times how it will be going to change. This is a great thing in the history of the Bible mission. We are great because we have the weapon to resist the Satan, to kill the Satan, to behead the like Satan. Let these words be in your mind and fulfill the word of God. Thank you. Amen. Short closing prayer. Let me close with a short prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we bring you great victories, Father. We are all one with the blood of Jesus Christ. We can subdue the devil. We can behead the devil by the mighty word of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the word of God. By the mission people have come to Singapore and next time to the whole world. In this way, conquering the world which Satan has caught in his, in, his, in his hands in this way, preparing the bride for the second coming and taking the bride to the presence and to the beside seating place of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let these words be in them and let the teachings of our Father fulfill and the prophecy be fulfilled. In the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ we ask you, Amen.